Hi guys, my name is Nicola and I'm from Equestrian Fitness. I am strength and conditioning coach, Echo Pilates and sports yoga instructor who specialises in getting equestrians fit off horse in order to improve their performance on horse. So today we are going to go through an upper body workout. We're going to do five different exercises um, in order to get you ready for the event in season. The first three exercises are very much focused on using the correct muscles for a good rein contact. So what we're looking at is muscles of the shoulder blades, the mid back, okay? The reason for that is, is if we use those muscles and really use our shoulders correctly, the arms are able to move independently without affecting the rest of the torso, which directly plays into having what we would refer to as having a strong core. If the shoulders and the mid back are supporting the rein contact, the arms can move, this isn't affected, the whole area is totally solid and in control. Okay, so um, we're going to start with an exercise called the dumb weighter. You can do this completely unweighted or you can hold little weights if you want to make it a little bit harder. But it is super important that you focus on using exactly the right muscles. Okay, so um, I'm going to do 10 of everything again today or there or thereabouts and talk you through it. For you, I would recommend doing sort of between 20 and 40 of everything. Um, depends on how advanced you are and how difficult you find them. Okay, so you're going to start hands in. You can hold your reins if you like. You're going to really focus on keeping the upper shoulders relaxed, keeping your elbows in. You're going to take your hands out and you're going to squeeze the muscles between your shoulder blades together. So you should feel this working here between the shoulder blades and sort of mid back, maybe a little bit further down. So if you can think about the shoulder blades squeezing together and pulling down in your back, okay? That's what we're aiming for, okay? So we're not wanting them to pop up. We're not wanting the elbows to float out just yet. We're just really squeezing the shoulder blades together. And also look at the symmetry of your arms because you might notice, as mine probably are, that one elbow maybe tries to drift off. Okay, so this is also looking at the symmetry of your shoulder blades. So once you've done 10 of those, we're then gonna just make that exercise a little bit harder. So you're gonna start here again, you're gonna take it out, and we're gonna go into silver service weight. So you're gonna keep those shoulder blades all down and together, float the hands out. Bring them back, bring it back in. So hands out, shoulder blades go down and together at the back, keep them there, float the hands out. Okay, now if you're struggling to keep your shoulder blades pulled down and you wanna do this, make the movement smaller, okay? Because it's super important that you really keep that connection between the shoulder blades because this is where we're looking at that ability to stay strong in the torso but have the arms move, okay? So they can move here but everything here is unaffected in its stability, okay? So that's done waiter, silver service waiter. Okay, and then last one on the shoulders, we're gonna go up into a Y. So we're gonna use the same muscles again in that you're gonna take the hands, the palms are facing out. You're gonna take the hands up and as they do so, think about your shoulder blades going down your back, okay? So if you think about a wine corkscrew, as the levers go up, the corkscrew goes down, okay? And that's what we're going for. So arms go up, shoulder blades go down same thing keeping the shoulder blades on the whole time and if they really struggle again make the movement smaller super important that you just focus on technique rather than just getting these done okay so i'll do a couple more with you and then we'll move on to an exercise for the back so we're going to go into a back extension onto your front. Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple of options to make this easier or harder. Okay, your easy option, hands in line with your shoulders, you can keep your hands down and you lift up, using the elbows for support. So if you're quite new to sort of back exercises, etc., I very much recommend that you do this one. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, lift the hands up. Okay, 
Whereas if you are maybe more experienced, you're feeling like I've totally got this, take the hands out and as you lift, pull them down. So shoulder blades down and back, hands forward, bring it back down. Lift up, pull it down, forward and back. And what you're looking for is you should think about just gently lifting your belly button off the mat so that you're still using your core correctly. You should feel your glutes switch on as well. And if you can't, you're trying to keep your feet on the floor because they might try and lift. Okay, don't force them to stay down if that's not comfortable, but they shouldn't be lifted actively. Also, you can try moving with the angle of your legs. If you're finding that narrow doesn't feel quite right, try taking the legs a little bit wider. Okay, so you have three options. Easy option, hands and elbows down. Slightly harder, take the hands with you. And most difficult, lift, pull it down, forward and back down. Okay, last exercise is press ups. Again, I'm going to give you a couple of options. Um, obviously, you've got your full press up. We're going to go hands wide for these ones because um, I think they give you good use of the back and the chest as well as the core and the arms all in one. Okay, full press up. You can start here, straight line, and you start from there. Okay, or you can drop to the knees and go down from there. If you're on your knees, make sure your whole self comes down okay so you're not just dropping on the shoulders i'm going to go from my knees because i've got a shoulder injury and um, obviously if you're much better athletes than me feel free to go from a full press up up onto your toes what i want you to really focus on is those hands staying under the shoulders and your whole self coming down so even if you're in a full press up whole body down belly button and chest to the mat okay that's what we're looking for. So if you're on your knees, belly button and chest to the mat, keeping that back straight, same applies if you're in a full press up. Okay, so that is your five exercises. We've got dumb waiter, so service waiter. I'm gonna call that wine corkscrew. Okay, and then your back extension and press ups. So like I said, between 20 to 40 of those, so that's two to four sets of 10, and I'd love to know how you get on. Bye.